Here's a wireless option for transferring media and data between mobile devices. It's called the SSK Wi-Fi Storage Drive, two terabytes, smart Wi-Fi storage. Here are the specs. So here's the built-in battery. It also says to plug it in directly to your uh, router for the fastest transferring speeds. Ethernet port in the front. USB, USB-A, or micro. You can plug uh, flash drives and stuff like that into the USB port in the front. So we can back it up for the computer, for the need for a computer. All right, so the app, I'm in the app, I'm in Apple, so mine is in the app store. Come on, focus. All right, I got it on both devices. This is the um, iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is the iPad Pro 11. So I'm gonna show you can work on multiple devices at the same time. The top is the drive, obviously. The bottom is the phone. The only thing is, even on the iPad, it still says phone. It doesn't say iPad. I mean, the software isn't the greatest. It can use updates. For instance, a battery indicator would be lovely inside this app. doesn't have that. Right, we're going to the drive. Okay. Same thing. I backed up my um, my phone pictures and videos. This is on the drive right here. Those are the videos. Oops, wrong way. Those are the pictures. It's a lot of pictures on here, so it takes a minute to uh, render. All right. Same thing. The videos from my phone. Photos from the phone. It's a lot of photos, so it takes a minute. There you go. And this is off its own Wi-Fi. It's not plugged to the Ethernet. Okay, I gotta back the uh, I gotta back up my iPad. I'll do that after this video and plug it to the uh the router directly. But when I do that, all you do is down here, you hit back up. It asks you which one to back up photos, videos, contacts. You hit them individually. I only have, I hit, I hit photos to see how long it takes to render. They got like 8,000 on my phone, so it took a minute. 2691. Back up now. No, I'm not going to do it now, but that lets you know how many photos there is to back up. Like I've done it with the phone, so you saw it on there already. Uh, settings I call this Skynet I, I named this box Skynet my home is uh, Jarvis so yeah remote access cool what you can do with that leave this power and on and you can go anywhere in the world hit the app and you will log into it so it's your own personal cloud storage no matter where you are, hit the app, password, it'll log you into this. That's the main reason I bought it. Sound does something to do with the computer. It's the internet. It has its own Wi-Fi or hotspot. Device management, remote drive. When you're done, that's how you remove it. Hit that, and then disconnect it properly so you don't damage any other data. And you just back out of it. Okay, now let me show you real quick on the phone. Uh, let's do the album recent I'm just going to transfer a couple of pictures show you how it works I'm going to hit these four down here okay upload four so it's going to go to the hard drive 
looking through the, there you go. I'm looking through the camera lens, so. See, pretty quick. These are you know, regular photos taken with the uh, iPhone 13 Max Pro. High definition and all that. Completed. That's everything I ever uploaded. Okay, now it's in the drive. So let's go to the drive. Everything you upload goes under upload folder. These are most of these are preset folders that come with the device. Alright, so it labeled it dance. That's what I call my phone. So I'm hit that and there's the four pictures. Okay, now let's do a video real quick. Local video. Recent uh All right, 38 seconds, something simple. Hit the upload button. So you see it's about 57 megabytes. All right, done, it's on the drive. Doesn't pop up automatically, but back out, come back in. There it is. Hit on to play. There it is. All right. Tap back out. So that's it. I think I covered pretty much all I need to cover real quick. Just an option, if you want a wireless hard drive, there you go. I'll put the link in the bottom of the video. Uh, this, and it's one by Western Digital. They cost a little bit more, but it's a more known company also. I took a chance on this one. The reviews on Amazon be hit or miss. It's hard to go by most reviews I see. And there are a couple of videos out there on this. Not too many, but there's a couple. So my decision went off of the few videos I've seen on it. And had to like filter through the reviews on Amazon. But that's about it. I think I covered everything. Peace. By the way, that was filmed with my iPod Touch 7. Wasn't too bad, right? I need better lighting. I'm working on that. Peace.